In this video, we're going to decipher the performance of Bajaj Auto Limited and also its future prospects. This is one of my favorite company and uh, I have uh, been crashing this company for quite some time. And also again, uh, this is backed by Raji Bajaj, who is the promoter and CEO of Bajaj Auto Limited. So you can see the stock had almost doubled from uh, March 2020. And uh, this is backed by uh, uh, fundamentals in terms of uh, how the company has performed over the last one year. So let's look at the last 10 years financial performance of this company where uh, the sales though not so big, but uh, they were able to grow at a rate of uh, 7% since automobile being a cyclical industry. This company was able to again outperform most of its uh, industry competitors and also was able to maintain the margins. So usually Bajaj maintains a margin range between uh, 17 to 20%. So where again, they have uh, leadership in the complete uh, two-wheeler segment and are able to command uh, pricing over uh, their customers and suppliers. And also the tax rate also seems to be healthy in the range of 28% and it has come down to 22% uh, since the government has brought down the corporate tax uh, to this level. So it's also consistent with this number where it's indicating that this company is paying out its statutory dues, which doesn't come back later on to haunt it. And one interesting thing that I liked about Bajaj Auto is that its SSGR is again greater than 100% or significantly higher, but its sales growth is only uh, 5%. So what ha happens due to this is that the company does not have to rely on external debt. So if you see most of the automobile companies, they have a very significant debt, but it's not the case with Bajaj Auto, like where again they are only having negligible uh, 100 crore debt but their equity base is somewhere around uh, 28 7000 crores which is almost negligible this is because the company is funding most of its operations through its uh, internal cash generated from operating cash flows and also the cumulative uh, net profit for over the last 10 years is almost equal to 40000 crores and also the cash flow from operations is also around uh, 32000 crore which is more or less equal so which means that the company is able to convert most of its amount into cash. And also the free cash flow is also again uh, around 30,000 crores and it has paid out almost 20,000 crores in dividend. So I think this is an excellent company and uh, this is a company with high in corporate governance. And even Crystal had uh, highly mentioned that uh, they have a robust financial risk profile and also again, they have a leadership in uh, three-wheeler passenger carrier segment and also a market leading position uh, in motorcycle segment. Uh, this is again a good company to watch out for and also again uh, they are a relatively stable company that uh, uh, we should always have in our watch list and uh, this is one stock that i missed out uh, in last march but i am continue to watch this stock for uh, potential correction uh, uh, in the coming months and i think uh, this is this can also be a stock which can be held over long term because this company is again run by a reliable and ethical promoter who is always upfront and shares the profits with the minority shareholders and whenever a company that's good in minority shareholders so we should closely evaluate uh, such company and also again uh, they tend to have grown their equity almost uh, 5x over the last 10 years which is a good thing and also they have a huge cash cushion of almost around 23,000 crores so which is a, again a wonderful thing like where during lockdown uh, they only require uh, around a very nominal amount to run their operations. So since they have uh, 25,000 crore war chest, they'll be almost able to go through the drawdown for almost for more than uh, two, three years, which is again, more than enough to carry out a lot of experiments because they have a huge cash runway. So I think uh, it's a wonderful company and uh, I think they have a long future ahead though the growth rate might be in single digit but it's again might be a good compounder in terms of wealth creation so those investors who have a long-term horizon should definitely consider bajaj auto as a key stock so i hope you like this video and feel free to subscribe to my channel and do post in comments what you think about bajaj auto so that we will discuss about that in the coming videos so I hope you like this video and uh, feel free to share it with your friends and uh, see you next time.